Take two. <laughs> Take two. It froze. It froze on me. This has never happened. I can't believe this. Take two. <laughs> Take two. You're going to have to watch Take One. <laughs> If you watch take one and you're hopping on take two, let's try this again. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Thank you for joining. Hopefully, let's say a little prayer. This doesn't freeze up. I know. Oh, my gosh. This is like, yeah, this is my life. It's okay. There's no... Um, did I come back or is this a new post? Y'all can tell me if it's a new post. Okay, real quick. Real quick. I'm going to do a dual Facebook Live first time here, right here, with right here. I'm going to try this again and hopefully praying it does not freeze up. My good friend, my coach, Mr. Brian Fryer is going to join us. And I'm really excited for him to share his knowledge with you. Um, he's very funny, very transparent, wonderful. And I have, I actually stalked him for about a month before I went to his group. Probably doesn't know that, but now he does. So let's try this again. Try this again. Please don't freeze. Please don't freeze up on me. I'm praying hard. I am. Praying so hard, this doesn't freeze. Oh, is it is it working Ooh. now? Ooh -hoo -hoo. Working. Hey, Michelle. Yes. Thank How you. Are you. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you Check for taking the time to be here tonight. You got it. You got it. Check it out. My lighting here, uh, seeing what we got going on. Yeah. All right. How are you? Good to see you. I'm good. I'm doing really good. I'm not sure if this is num. Is this like take two, or is this still? Part of take one. Take two. I, 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 I want to say it's. I want to say it started over. Yeah, I want to say it started over. Ah, uh, I should have done my introduction again. I skipped it all over. Everybody, go to take one and then come back to take two after. <laughs> hey, it's all good. It's all good. Just adjusting my okay. light there. There we go. Cool, cool. Well, a, Maybe too much light. Perfect live, right? For Welcome sure. Everybody. For sure. Thank you for hopping on. <laughs> Shauna says, Brian is all over my news feed. That's pretty funny. I like it. Awesome. That's so, uh, Michelle, well, first of all, thanks so much for having me. Super excited to be here with you. Grateful for the opportunity to come on here, share some exciting uh, uh, branding tips for all those marketers out there on social media. Uh, super, super grateful for you, your friendship, and the opportunity to be working with you for the last, I mean, year almost, right? And you've been a part of our society and uh, it's just been an absolute blessing. So cool to see your growth. And I know like you were just sharing, you were saying uh, you're, you're the last one to take a picture or anything like that. And now you've been crushing out videos. So we're super proud of you. Thank you. It's all because of my wonderful team and you and all the training I get in my company. It's everybody combined. It's just great. I love it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, what are we going to be sharing with your incredible audience today? I have a, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's, <laughs> let's maybe, let, we'll maybe fill them in. What do you think, Michelle? Should we let them yes, in on some please. secrets? Yes, please. Yes. Awesome, Why awesome. And how to brand you. <laughs> Why and how to brand you? Absolutely. Well, hey, let me say hello to all the viewers real quick. How's it going, guys? Thanks so much for being here and watching the broadcast. I got a couple of uh, means of business to take care of real quick. If you guys feel uh, others would benefit from this broadcast and learning why and how to brand yourself, feel free to share. Bottom left-hand corner, that would be awesome. Second part of business is this. Michelle is rocking out her live videos. And here's what I want you to do right now before I dive any deeper, okay? Top right-hand corner of your screen, I want you to tap the video. Go ahead. I'll wait for you. Tap the video. And then you're going to see three little dots in the top right-hand corner. So tap the video, hit the three dots, and say turn on live notifications for Michelle so that you don't miss when she goes live. She's an absolute rock star. Now, last part. Last part, Michelle. I promise this is it, and then we're going to dive into some content, all right? If, oh, cool. for, all, for, for all the viewers, she's like, yeah, th Brian, this is your show. Just take it. I'm just going to hang out and, and watch the show. No, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, for all those who think Michelle is absolutely and type the oh, word gross. awesome in the comment section below, right? Let's build, let's build her up a little She's amazing, right? See, I always got, got, got to take care of Michelle. Come on, having fun. She's over there like, Ryan, stop it. Stop it. Let's, let's get to the content. You're making me blush. You make me blush now. <laughs> yes, yes. Jennifer says, uh, hey, Carol. Hey, Jennifer. Welcome. Hey, Kathy. Shauna Brown says, Brian's all over my news feed. That's a good thing, right? Right? I love that's, that. That's, I love that. I, I think that's a great, it's a great uh, a segue into talking about branding, right? Okay. Uh, who was that that just shared that, Shauna? I think it was Shauna. Yeah. That's branding. That's branding at its finest, right? Well, I'm excited to be here again. Thanks, guys, so much for the invitation. Michelle, grateful for you. Let's talk about some branding, shall we? And why, why we should be branding ourselves rather than maybe our products and our company on social media. What are the good things? What are the bad things? Um, and so if you by chance uh, are watching this broadcast uh, and don't have a pen and paper, maybe I suggest you grab one. We're going to dive into some, uh, some great tips here. Now, I got I to gotta, I gotta give you a heads up, Michelle. I'm going to be talking about some really cool things here, but uh, I'm, just, I'm just getting you ready. You ready, you ready for this? I'm going gonna gonna to be kicking it to you every now and again because I'd love to hear your feedback, of course, as always, because you're doing incredible things. Your team is growing each and every month, and we're excited about all you're doing. But I also I love to hear your feedback as well. Sound good? Yeah, sounds wonderful. Awesome, awesome. While you're, while you're chatting. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. It's, it's been, I'll tell you what, I'll be honest with you. I love my coffee just like you love your coffee uh, every morning. I mean, it's crazy. And I'll tell you what, the last three or four nights, I typically don't do this, but it's just been crazy. Uh, we've done a ton of videos, of course, crazy stuff happening. But I've literally, in the evenings, brewed another pot of coffee just to, <laughs> just to keep going. So we're on the same yeah. page, sister. We're on the yeah. same page. Right on. So let's talk about why and how to brand yourself. So let's, let's first talk about the why. Why is branding yourself on social media crucial if you're a network marketer? Well, here's the deal, uh, is that most in our profession who are using social media are not branding themselves. Unfortunately, uh, it's not their fault. Uh, I just believe that there's maybe a lack of education out there in our profession as a whole. That's why we do what we do. Um, but it's so very important to understand this. So we're going to have we're going to have some uh, conversation here. Uh, me and in the live viewers here. I'm going to be asking for your participation <laughs> here in just a moment. So uh, ima imagine this. Imagine this. I would assume there's maybe what a thousand, five thousand, twenty thousand, fifty, hundred, maybe five hundred thousand distributors in your respected companies. I want you to think about this for a moment, okay? If let's just say, let's just say 50% of those people, maybe up to 80% of those distributors are actually on Facebook and the majority of them are out there posting about products, their company, join my team, buy my products, check out my sales. Now think of it like this. Do all of those distributors have something in common? Yes, they are all blending in together. They all look the same. It's just another infomercial. It's just another buy my products, join my team. So here's the deal. All those folks are going this way. They're going this way. They're going this way. They're going this way. There's really nothing that differentiates them on social media. Then you have those who are learning marketing. They're learning branding, and they're seeing the importance of doing this uh, in a different manner, and they're, and they're branding themselves. They're, they're separating themselves from the pack, which makes them stand out on social media. For my question for all of our viewers is, would you rather, you have a choice, <laughs> would you rather blend in with the other 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 distributors in your company? Would you rather blend in with all the noise and chaos on social media, or would you rather stand out, blend in, or stand out. Michelle, what, what's, what's your take on that? Blend in or stand out? I'm just curious. Stand out. <laughs> stand yes, out. Yes, yes, be, yes. Absolutely. Be, be different. Amen, sister. Amen. Yeah, and amen. and this, this, really, this really sums up those who have uh, long-term success using social media and those who maybe have a quick, you know, exciting first mm -hmm. or second month and then it all falls apart and you're like, wait a minute, what happened? I thought this was supposed to keep going. Well, unfortunately, we understand that, that, that blending in with everybody else, doesn't matter what your product is, doesn't matter which company you're in, right? They're all phenomenal products across our entire profession. I'll, I'll tell you a little secret. All the compensation plans are roughly the same, even though it seems like this one's a little better than that one. They're all roughly the same, 
right? Okay. It comes down to you. You as the individual, you're the it factor, right? Understanding that you hold the key to your own success on social media. So when we choose, because it's a choice to stand out versus blend in, the opportunity for us to have so, uh, success using social media highly, highly increases. Can I get an amen in the comment section if this is making some sense for my people here? Absolutely. Absolutely. So that is, that's the short version, I guess, on why we should be branding ourselves on social media. Now, let's talk a little bit about the how and, and how you guys can best understand this. Let me ask you first real quick, is this been helpful for you? If it has, type the number one in the comment section right now. I'd love to, love to get your feedback, see how we're doing so far. Has this been helpful? I see the, you know, the, the thumbs up and the hearts. Yes, amen yes. across the board. Hey, Kelly, Carol, mm -hmm. fantastic. Stephanie says, amen. What's up, Rockstar? <laughs> Very cool. Thanks. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint a picture for everyone. Is that cool? I, I mean, I used to be a good drawer, Michelle, back, back in the days. Uh, you know, my, my wife is always saying, well, Brian was such a good drawer and this and that. But uh, uh, I, I don't agree, but it's all good. I'm going to take, <laughs> take the credit. But, but, but I'm going to paint the audience a picture here, right? Let's have some fun. So I want you all to think about the scenario that I'm about to share, okay? Um, when it comes to social media, everything that we do has our name attached to it. Think about this. Think about this. Every time Michelle goes and leaves a comment on, say, one of my posts, what does it say? Michelle Humes just commented on this post. Or if she goes and comments on Gwen's post or Shauna's post, right? It says, right, Shauna gets a notification, hey, Michelle Humes just commented on your post. Okay, case in point. That's example number one. Example number two. When Michelle is maybe in a group or something like that and she goes to make a post in a group, what does it say? Michelle Humes just posted in this group, right? Pretty cool. One more example. You ready for this one? Just like right now, about what, uh, four or five minutes ago, Michelle went live. All of those who are uh, you know, on her live notifications list got a little Facebook notification. And what did it say? It said, hey, Michelle Humes is now live. Okay, I want you to think about this for one moment when, when we start thinking about branding and, and, and how our name ties into everything we do. You see, as network marketers, every action that we take on social media, our name is attached to it, whether it's a comment, whether it's a post, whether it's a, a, a Facebook Live, well, uh, uh, maybe, right, that's the good stuff. Uh, what about the bad stuff, right? Every time we're spamming our walls, every time we're sending cold messages, trying to pitch people our, our business, uh, you know, hey, this two-for-one flash sale every other Friday is just crazy. I want you to understand that every single thing we do, good, or bad has your name attached to it. And everything that, that, that revolves around your name is now shaping your brand, okay? So in the eyes of your audience right now, I want you to ask yourself, all of our viewers, ask yourself this very specific question, is what is the perception of me in the eyes of my friends? What is the perception of me in the eyes of my followers? Is it? Someone who's spammy, someone who's salesy, someone who's trying to get someone to join their team, or are we being looked at as someone who's helpful, someone who's funny, someone who's resourceful, someone's, someone who's helpful, someone who provides value, someone who inspires me, right? Michelle, which, which person would you rather connect to and talk to or follow? Someone who tries to sell you products and get you to join their business every day or someone who you wake up and you're like, man, I can't wait to see so-and-so's post today or video because what they share inspires me. Yeah. Um, I, you know, that thing that comes every day you get on this day, it shows you like flashbacks of stuff. Right. And I actually joined direct sales in the end of 2015. And for the first two years or so of my business career, um, I was that spammer. I was the one doing that. I was the one doing all that. So every single day, what do I get? I see a flashback of how I used to be, and I'm like, <laughs> give me a bucket. <laughs> turn off. 
the turn off. I'm like, yeah, now I'm looking at it. Oh, yeah, it has one like, one comment. Oh, look at this post. Two likes, no comments. Oh, look at this one. I'm like, uh, yeah, now I know why. But, and I'm not perfect by any means. I mean, I'm still learning. I'm always going to be learning. Um, I still have a lot to learn and a lot to grow and um, own, owning up to that right now. I'm not perfect. And to be honest with you, I haven't recruited anybody personally myself in the last three months um, because I don't approach people and, oh, join my team. But I, I patiently wait for people to come to me and have that conversation. And um, But my team is growing. You know, girls are, you know, recruiting. And my team is phenomenal. They're great. But we, I just don't, um, I don't put things on my wall that, that scream direct sales, if that makes sense. I just don't do that. And it's for sure, I for sure. Because I stalked for sure. you for a month. <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch you I thought for that a month. was awesome. Watch his videos. <laughs> well, I'm going to check some of this stuff out. Awesome. Well, yeah. well first and foremost, uh, I appreciate you being vulnerable, Michelle. It really speaks to your character and just like just being real, raw, transparent, authentic. Um, but I want you to know that that all of us are included in that conversation, me included. We've all been in that situation. We've all we've all gone out there, spammed our newsfeed. We've all gone out there, maybe sent a few cold messages. We've all gone out there and posted posts with our replicated website links. Me included. We're all included in this conversation. I don't think there's one person on here who's, who can honestly say that they've never done anything like that, like right. because we've all done it. But the coolest right. part about this whole thing is that – we, we are all continuing to learn. We're all continuing to grow. And what's the, the, the coolest part about this whole thing uh, for me is that, is, is that we, we all have a decision. We all have the opportunity to decide how we're going to work our business, right? Okay. What feels right? What feels the best? What, you know, what's not going to come across as spammy? Uh, doesn't mean we're not going to work any, any, you know, any, any, uh, what's, how do I phrase this? Uh, any harder or, or, or not work as hard on our business. That doesn't mean that. All that means is, you know what? We've got a, we've got a little different strategy here. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put a dollar sign on people's heads and look to them as just another recruit. I'm not going to put a dollar sign on someone's head just so I can make rank and then go say, yeah, look at me. Like, like, do we want those things to happen? We want you to achieve success. We want you to hit the next rank. We want you to get that next bonus. We want your team to duplicate. We want, of course we do. Of course we do. But you know what? We have a long-term vision for that happening. Now, when I say long-term, don't get mistaken, viewers. Don't get mistaken. Long-term doesn't mean this needs to take five, 10 years. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking like six, 12, 18, 24 months. OK, this doesn't need to take a long time. It, it all comes down to each and every person's level of commitment to go out there and, and, and learn and then implement and then learn and then implement some more and make some and make some mistakes. Learn from those and go implement some more. Like that's what this whole process is all about, right? Okay. Again, I'm yeah. the first. I'm the first to say, like, you know, uh, you, a lot of folks out there might might see me and they're like, "Well, Coach Fryer, like, you get all these viewers on your videos and you get all these likes and comments on your posts. Guess what? I got some news for you. I still have posts that flop. No likes, no comments. Guess what? I go back to the drawing board. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I still have Facebook Lives that I talk about still to this day. I've, I've done, I think, over 1,000 or 1,500 of them now, somewhere in there. But I still have Facebook Lives that flop. You know what I'm saying? Do, do, I say, I well, I, do, do I say this? Do I say, well, I guess to heck with Facebook Lives. I guess they just don't work. <laughs> of course not. Do I delete yeah. it? Of course not. I look at it. I'm like, okay, how can I learn from that? Right? And, this, and again, this all goes back into the branding conversation. But, uh, you know, the, the less that we can sit there and kick ourselves, right, Kate, and the more we can just be open to continue to learning, but most importantly, be committed to implementing. Be committed to implementing, okay? Branding yourself uh, is going to take some time. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I, I believe that this is the long-term plan and approach to grow a, a meaningful and sustainable network marketing or direct sales business. Again, by no means by branding yourself uh, uh, is it going to take forever. We're just saying that this is the long-term strategy 
to do so. You picking up what I'm putting down, Michelle? Is this, have, have I been preaching a little bit here tonight? I know I get on my co coach, coach, Fryer, coach Fryer rants every once in a while. I think you're used to those by now. It's all good. <laughs> yep. Yep. What, what would you had, say, um, what, what would you say, Michelle, to, to those tuning in here who are maybe in direct sales, network marketing, all different companies, and, and they're trying to figure this out. Like, you know, well, I, you know, I was told that I was supposed to post five times a day about my business. And, you know, I don't know about this whole branding myself thing and creating curiosity and interest around my products and business versus just telling everybody what it is. Love for you to maybe speak to those folks on here who are, who are just like some clarity on that. What, what, what's your thoughts on that? Well, I can first, um, I can relate to wondering about that because I used to feel the same way. Um, I used to have um, those thoughts and questions, so I understand that. But here's what I um, tell my team that comes to me asking me what branding is, what I think branding is. And for the longest time, I didn't understand it. And my simplest version instead of trying to get into all kinds of details, is to just think of yourself, the things that you enjoy and you love um, that have to do with you, and that's your brand. You are your brand, and you want to share with your network those things that you love so that you attract the same people that love the same things, um, and not to be fake not to be something that you're not no, don't try to be like her because she's up here because that's her that's her personality that's her um way of being you want to be yourself you want to be authentically you and not and for the longest time i didn't understand that and i always tried to do what so and so did because it was a great post and it got so much interaction let me go do what this one did because <clears throat> that was a great post and wow look at all the interaction on there and just basically, it was a big aha, eye-opening moment for me when I finally, you know, when I learned, even before joining you, Brian, um, my sponsor, Chelsea, actually had a really great branding video, and that's how she described it, was to be you. Figure out the five strongest points about yourself and be you. Just be you. Yes, and absolutely. What it boils down to is just sharing you, your life, the things you love. That's that's all I can really, the easiest way to explain it. For sure. Um, for sure. Yeah, it's absolutely right. And uh, while, while we're talking about branding, uh, I think that, uh, what what is the date today? September 30th, 2017, the, the day of this video. Um, branding, in my own opinion, uh, has never been easier to do. And I'm going to tell you guys what I believe is the easiest, simplest, fastest, most efficient way to do that, uh, to not only brand yourself, but to start growing a business, uh, recruiting more you know, reps and customers into your business using social media. And I think the fastest, most efficient way to build your name, to build your brand on Facebook today is exactly what we are doing right here, right now. Facebook Lives. Facebook Lives, there are some of you out there right now who are saying, oh my goodness, Coach Fryer, don't you dare talk about Facebook Lives. I ain't ever doing one of those dang things. Don't you dare try to talk me into doing Facebook Lives. And I, that was Michelle, right, not too long ago. And I'm sitting here on the other side saying, do you want to continue to just sit there and spin the same plate over and over and over and over? Because here's what I know to be true. Mr. Mark Zuckerberg shot me a text message last week. No, actually, he did it. That's a fib. But uh, I thought that would be kind of funny, right? No. But Mark Zuckerberg, literally, he didn't text me, but he did say this. He did say this. He said that by the, year, uh, the year's end of 2020, so just a couple of years from now, that the Facebook is going to be a 90% video platform. I want you to think about this for a moment, okay? Okay. I want you to think about it as a viewer for a moment, okay? So let's talk about it as a viewer. So you're scrolling your Facebook newsfeed. Nine out of 10 posts are videos. Think about this, okay? That's, that's, the, that's the viewer perspective, okay? That's what you're gonna see in a couple of years. Now, as an entrepreneur, as a network marketer, as a direct sales consultant wanting to grow a business using social media, I want you to understand that there's one word that comes to mind right now for me, and that is opportunity. Do you not see an opportunity in how ahead of the curve you are right here, right now, today, to dive into live videos, 
Who cares if you're terrible? We are all terrible at first. We each are getting better every single time. If you wait, if you wait until the perfect time, guess what? You've missed your opportunity. Don't, don't, don't be afraid to be uh, vulnerable. Don't be afraid to be nervous. Don't be afraid to, be, uh, to, to, to have a bad hair day. Don't be afraid to, to stumble over your words. I still do all those things. And you know what? I say, screw it. I'm going to do it anyways. Yeah. It's absolutely mm -hmm. powerful. And so as network marketers, if you could uh, you know, take away one huge nugget from this video is that I need to start doing lives. I don't care what the deal is. I don't care the outcome. I just know that I need to do them. Would you agree, Michelle? We're on the same page? Yes, 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 100%, 1,000%, if there is 1,000%. Yes, sure, do a live. Sure. Do a bad live, it's okay. <laughs> Actually, we encourage live. you to do a bad live. No, I'm just kidding, no, we don't, but. There's plenty of them, they start somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I always tell the story on, uh, you know, I've done tons of lives now to this point, but uh, I always share that like my first two to three months I was doing lives a couple of years ago when they first came out. And I was literally like two, maybe three live viewers. Okay. I was topping out around, you know, 20, 30, 40 views. Okay. Uh, had no clue what I was doing. Uh, I, I was like, I was, I was trying to be all professional and like, I, I hardly moved and it probably looked like I had a bunch of plastic surgery cause my face didn't move. I was like frozen solid, like talking to the camera, like, like this, like absolutely crazy. Right. Michelle gets a laugh at her. Right. But, but you know what? I, I knew, I've I knew they were you. bad. Yeah. I've seen you. I've seen you literally grow from 13 months now because I started following you beginning of August. And when I started watching you then, you only had about 200, 300 viewers, two or three shares. So I've seen tremendous growth for you um, in the last 13 months. So I know that the Facebook Live is it. Facebook, it Facebook is. Lives work. And, and yes. rather, than, rather than maybe our viewers say, oh, my gosh, uh, I could never do that or whatever, just understand that each and every one of us has the opportunity to do the exact same thing. Look, look to that as what Michelle just shared. Look to that as inspiration. Look to that as like, OMG, that's what's possible. To where now we get thousands and thousands and thousands of, live, uh, of viewers. We get uh, on average, I mean, gosh, last week, think about, just think about this for one moment, the power of live video. And then we're gonna talk how network marketers specifically can, uh, can leverage Facebook Lives here in just a moment. But think about this for just a minute. Michelle said just 13, 14 months ago, she tuned in a couple of Brian's videos and he had like a couple hundred views tops and two or three shares. Think, think about this for just a moment. We did four videos last week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I believe. And each one of those videos, check this out. Each one of those videos had a minimum of 4,000 views. And each one of those videos had a minimum of 100 plus shares. Think about that for just a moment. Let, that, let this sink in. Let's see, if one share Right. If Michelle, let's just say, for example, has 500 friends and Michelle came on and shared my video, I'm now being exposed to potentially 500 people. See how that works. So think, think about that for just a moment. Think about it for a moment and the power to now getting, for example, for the sake of example purposes, over 100 shares now for one video. How many people could you now potentially be exposed to more friends, more followers, more eyeballs on you, your name, your brand? more conversations, more opportunities to share your products, service, or opportunity. And so with that being said, uh, it, was, it was about six, six and a half months ago, my good buddy Billy Funk and I, who is an incredible leader in his respected company. Uh, for those that don't know Billy, that's all good. I'll share a little bit about him. He's an incredible guy. He's been in network marketing for about four and a half years now. And just in the last two years, he really started to figure out network marketing. And what, did he, what else did he start doing, Michelle? He started doing live videos. And in the last two years, in the last two years, Billy has grown a team of over 35,000 people. I want to let you guys let this sink in. Now, results may vary. I, I can't sit here and promise you that. But I can tell you that he would tell you with a straight face that Facebook Lives have been the, 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 the driving force for his business. And so it was about six or seven months ago that him and I got together and, and we've been friends for a while. He, you know, we're always like, dude, you're crushing videos. Dude, you're crushing videos. We need to get together and, and put together the formula that's working for network marketers, right? 
What is working for network marketers? So step one is we need to overcome the fear of doing lives. Let me know yes or no down in the comment section. Are you doing live videos right now? Just a simple yes or no. Love your feedback. Love to say, uh, love to say congrats to those of you who are diving in already. But even if you're not, that's okay. So Billy and I got together and we're like, you know what? We've, we've, got, we've got these things figured out. There he is. There's my buddy. Billy, I was just promoting the heck out of you right now, dude. I, I know you just too non. <laughs> but, but Billy and I, were, were, we got together you know, several months ago, and we're like, man, we have figured out Facebook Live. We have, we have figured out that we have cracked the code when it comes to live video for network marketers. We not only can, can help network marketers overcome their fear of doing live videos, but we can actually set them up with a formula so that not only they start doing live videos, but that they can actually turn their live videos into cash generating machines, meaning more customers, more reps, more income, more rank advancements for their business. And Michelle, I know you've had the opportunity uh, the last couple of days to dive into a new program that him and I put together. I'd absolutely love to hear just your honest, transparent, I'm not twisting your arm, your feedback uh, on that course, on that program that's literally going to help network marketers recruit an extra two to five folks per month through live video. Love to hear your thoughts. Absolutely. Um, I didn't hesitate. Actually, I'm going to tell you a really quick story. My husband was listening on the web was listening in on um, the webinar. He's not in direct sales, but I was at my kitchen table. Um, it was in the evening. So that's where we sit during the evening. And he actually listened to the webinar, and before I could even ask, he said, you need to get that. And <laughs> I was like, yes, I do, you know, and I literally teared up because That's it's awesome. been a long time. It has been, I'm going to tear up now thinking about it. It's been a long time since I have had extra money to invest more into my business. And I really believe that in order to grow yourself personally, not just for your team, but for yourself, you really need to invest in yourself, whether that be another coach, um, reading personal development books, or getting your program. So I did. I jumped on it. And I immediately dived right in as soon as I got the link. And um, there was the first few modules that really didn't pertain to me because I have gone live before. But me, the curiosity cat over here, um, I watched them. <laughs> I listened to them. And I was, I was completely amazed and um, impressed with how detailed it was, um, especially the one where Billy Funk – let me wipe my eyes real quick. Especially You're amazing, Michelle. One, You're amazing. I think, especially the one where Billy Funk was going over how to get over the fear of going live. For those who have never gone live before, I didn't have to listen to it. I could have clicked complete and gone to the next module, but I needed to listen to it. I wanted to know what he was going to say. And before I even got even to the second or third sentence, when he started talking about peace, I'm not going to say everything because I don't want to give away all the details, but... When he started talking about peace, I'm going to tell you another quick story. I hope you all have time for it. Um, in July, I went to my company convention, and we were blessed to have uh, Martha Beck there to speak with us. And she talked about peace. Um, and it just brought that back home to me. And she had us do an exercise to find our peace. And that module that Mr. Billy Funk did high five to you and both of you. Um, it reminded me a lot of that um, that moment at convention. Um, so the short end of the whole of me going on and on and on because I do like to ramble. Most of them, most of my viewers know this. <laughs> I like to ramble. Um, it's worth it's worth ten to twenty times more than I paid for, and I haven't even gone through the first, there's a lot more that I have to go through, and I'm excited to go through it, um, because I know that it's jam-packed, full of value, and I've only gone through 
seven modules and I and I'm already like floored at what I've what I have taken in so far. Um, I learn a lot from my business through the coach. I have a lifestyle coach um, given to me. I have you every day. Um, and I just love ha that I have that choice to reach out to other people and learn from other people. And I really, I really believe that by doing this live, it's to help others that may feel the fear of live and not knowing what to do and to share you a little bit instead of hoarding you <laughs> to myself. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to hide. I'm trying to hide. No, we're, we're, we're so grateful for, for you, Michelle, and, and, and really, really appreciate your kind words. And uh, I think one of, the, one of the most amazing things about you, and I know maybe you used to be a little bit more reserved, uh, but just expressing vulnerability. I think that that's, that's um, you know, especially via live video, I think that that's something that many may be afraid of at first, uh, you know, to be honest with you. But you know what? It's, it's real. It's raw. It's transparent. It's like, hey, listen, I ain't perfect, but you know what? I know these dang Facebook lives work and if I suck at them or not, or if I'm nervous or if I don't know what, what's going on, you know what, I'm going to do them anyway. And, and, and just, just being able to, yeah. I used to do them without, with a weak connection going in and out. My, my connection was never clear and I still did them. I'd have two viewers and maybe no, never shared it, but cause nobody really wants to watch a live that's, you know, fuzzy and blurry, but I still did them. I still did them because I knew that I had to get, oh, I had to get rid of that fear of talking on camera, and I still get it's nervous. Good practice. I'm not, I'm gonna be honest. I still get hey, nervous. Hey, me and Billy, me and Billy are the first ones to share that him and I also get nervous. But uh, I think that's, you know, I think that's the power uh, of what we've put together in the program. I really appreciate you highlighting that first section because even though the course uh, inside our new course, uh, we, we lay out a strate strategic formula for any network marketer to start using video new or not new uh, and start turning them into customers and reps. But we, we knew the importance of adding a couple of bonus modules in the beginning to help those who, who, who have never done a live video. And, and need help in overcoming the fear of doing those first couple of videos. Billy absolutely knocked it out of the park, and him and I would be the first to tell you that him and I both still get, get, get nervous before we hit that blue button and go live. Like, uh, I don't know if it'll ever go away. Uh, some people are maybe just naturals and it doesn't matter, but you know what, being, being an introvert myself, uh, and Billy, I think the same, uh, you know, hitting that blue button can still get, can still get crazy. But I think that that's the power in, in what we've been able to put together. And so uh, I really appreciate you sharing all, all, all your value here uh, tonight, Michelle, and, and sharing with us, uh, you know, being open and, and allowing us to share a little bit more about why and how to brand yourself and the importance of that. Uh, I'd love to share with your viewers, if you guys would like more information on what Billy and I have put together, uh, the course that Michelle is talking so highly of, I would encourage you right now to type the words more info in the comment section below. Michelle would love to get back with you this evening uh, and check back in with you and she, see if she can further help answer questions about the course. The doors close tomorrow and this course won't be available any longer. So Michelle, again, thank you so much for having me. Grateful for your friendship. Uh, grateful to be on here with you and, and, and super proud of everything you're doing. Thank you so much for being on this live tonight and sharing your time with us. I really do appreciate you. Um, social impactors. Yes. Check it out. Here's a little surprise. Yeah. See that? You see that? Yes, little sec you see that little that. secret? I love that. I want one. <laughs> they're, they're, they're coming. They're coming in the mail. They're coming in the mail. We just, we just got them in. That's a secret. Thank we won't you tell everybody anybody. for hopping on. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Replay Watchers. Have a great night and message me if you like more info. I appreciate you for your time. Have a great night, everybody. Good night, guys. See ya. Bye.